Hello world. I would like to show you a GDL which I uh, made recently for our school. Here I have a normal point cloud of one of uh, houses here in the near of Salzburg. I made this point cloud with a Leica BLK and I didn't register it, I made it in Cloud Compare. And you see it's it's very um, it goes very far around. And so I thought it would be a good idea to make a GDL which can cut this thing directly. Here it's the same point cloud, but you have the options. I did it with reason out there where you can cut out for a better control. So if I take this point in my GDL, you can simply click on one of the points and you get a better view of it. And if you have to control the angle, you just click on it uh, and rotate it. I'm not used to the shortcuts in the English version. So if you have to adjust it to a model, you can do it. It's still there, you just have to to look where it's now in within the, the GDL, but the cutting uh, points here, you just have to adjust them. They are orthogonal after uh, changing the angle in the ground floor. So it's a very simple object and you see what's possible with it. You can also adjust the height if you just want to see it till this level here. Take this and you get it. So it should be much easier to work with point clouds in your models if you have one or you if you can make one. Okay, how do you use it? You just have to insert the point cloud normally, then you see the name of it, then you go to my GDL and open it and give in the name of the real point cloud you inserted. Then you can uh, switch if the this uh, cutting edges are orthogonal or not, uh, where they are. If you want to see this circles or not and which material they are and what uh, line is in the ground floor to see. This line type. So I hope you can use it in your projects, have fun with it and I hope you like it. In the PLA, PLA in the uh, Archicad Archiv, it's this uh, project. You can work with it directly. Greetings from Austria. Have a nice time. Bye.